hello, hello everyone, it's Kay from Craft UK. How are we all doing? In the room with me as well is, of course, the wonderful Pickle. Now, this is a big box, but it's also a very narrow box. And I opened it upside down, so I'm going to have to worry, because I was curious what was in here. I knew what it should have been, but it's a very big box for what it is. So, we open it up. We've got some command strips. I use these to hang up my diamond paintings uh, straight on the wall. These are just like the medium ones, so for slightly smaller ones, but yeah, they come in handy and I run out. So, and then this, and then that is literally it. So, the rest of it is literally just some packaging, and now my daughter is going to have the opportunity to play with this humongous box. So, down there. Now, this is what I got. So let's bring you back in now. So, this is a little diamond painting wreath. Now, I have been meaning to do one of these for a little while, and I really wanted to do one for this Christmas. Because I've not done one yet, and I figure, you know, it'd be nice to do. I can put it up on my door. Uh, I live in a flat, so better than getting... Uh, like a real wreath or something or something big and chunky I can get this and then yeah use it every year there we go there we go right so ooh, nice it's a bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be actually this is cool it's nice nice chain I probably won't use the chain though, to be honest. I'll probably just put like a command strip on the back and stick it to the door. But that's quite cool. It's quite a nice chunkyish uh, sort of chain. We shall have a look at that in a minute. We have got box down the toolkit, but we've also got some baggies as well, so that's cool. We've got our drills. And we got this. Right, I can get over there now. There you go, friend the little turtle. But yeah, this is quite cool. I wanted to get one let's come out actually a bit so yeah it's a really good size um let's have a look at that chain again so once it's all done i will probably seal it as well okay that goes on simple enough yeah my fingers and thumbs don't want to work ah. there we go Nice. That's pretty cool. So we've got a little snowman, a little heart, a little robin, lots of berries and some stars, maybe a pear or something. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to do. Um, also, what I thought would be fun to do is something that I don't really do here. I am going to time lapse this and post the post review all in one video. So you're going to get this unboxing, time lapse and a replace review all in one video, which is not something I often do, but I reckon this will just take me a couple of hours, um, or because obviously I'm up and down because of a little one, just take me a day. So let's have a look. On the back it's just, just wood, like some MDF or something, I don't know, I don't know my words. But, it's quite cool, I like that. So let's have a look see at what colours we've got. I've also noticed that there's like some big ones there, so I want to see what those ones are as well. Where is the opening? There, found ya. Right, so we've got some red, dark red, light red, pink. Oh, I think we've got some AB. This is an AB drill. Hey, sweetie. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Look, one wanted some bubbles. So, as I say, this is an AB. So, yeah, that's going this way. You can actually see the colours a bit better. But, yeah, this is an AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And my my light is not wanting to pick up on... The, trust me, there's a little coating on there that makes them extra sparkly. And it's just not coming up on my camera very well. If I do that, I know. you see, there's a bit of a glint. I don't know. The camera's not wanting to pick up. Right, we've got light green, a dark green. Ooh, a crystal. 
like a very light blue crystal black brown brown orangey brown oh a green ab so we've got two ab's so far yellow greeny color that color that color oh big teardrops now the tiny teardrops are a pain in the butt they're very fiddly but these size they're pretty good we've got some huge um orange crystals i like those uh we've got ginormous teardrops nice so we've got a couple of ab's a couple of crystals a couple of teardrops that's awesome so yeah i will see you again when i start to actually uh work on this luckily it'll just be a whole time lapse thing um and yeah i will see you once it's complete bye
ceiling. It's all done. It's very pretty. I just use crystal art sealer and a paintbrush. Just give it a bit of a shake because I've not used it before. And I'm sealing this because I'm going to put this on my door. Um, my door leads to a hallway and stuff, so, but it is wood. And yeah, I just want to give a little bit of protection whilst it's out there. just wait about 24 hours and we'll be back with the post review bye guys ta-da we have a finish it's all dry it's all done it's all sealed and see it seals clear so yeah we so it's completely done so this was a wooden reef that i picked up from amazon and yeah honestly my favorite drills were these ones they're like a orangey peachy pinky sort of color which i really really enjoyed so the lighting's really weird it's a weird day today weather wise um as we can see we've got plenty of spare drills loads of them left um I, absolutely tons of these again the lighting's a bit weird plenty in the ab's as well So yeah, plenty of crystals. So yeah, it's, it went really well. Like these ones, these large ones here, we only needed two in the entire kit, but they gave us three, which is really nice. I've got tons of these ones. These ones were definitely the favourite ones. Let's see if this helps. Kinda. But yeah, see how gorgeous those are? I'm so glad I got loads of those extra. But yeah, this is done. And then all I've got to do... Although I don't know if I will use the chain or not, but it's a really nice, quite chunky chain. So it's not a thin one. Um, what you do is, as I showed you in the unboxing, you just hook it up. Done. But honestly, I will probably use... Um, it's not that heavy, so I probably just like one command strip or something at the top. Or even blue tack, to be honest, and put it on my front door this year. I've not had a reef on my door before, so... And seeing as I'm in flat, uh, this can just go on the inside of, like I say, it just leads to a corridor. So I'm pretty sure that is what I'm going to do. That is my plan. And for anyone who's curious, these are command strips. Um, they come like this and they literally just, it's Velcro. It's really cool Velcro. So yeah, that's, that's, that's all you use, or I use anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to get, on here and show you the final product um the symbols were simple enough to see just noticed that that one nudged out but i don't know if i can really move that one back in anyway uh yeah the symbols were easy enough to read um really easy to do i know i didn't time lapse much of this biggest reason of all was because i found that i do not enjoy time lapsing when I've got the camera overhead on me and I'm recording myself doing it and it's not in a whipping chat or something, I get really nervous for some reason and then I really lacked the motivation to do it. What should have only taken me a couple of days, two, maybe three at a push, took me almost all week to do because I was thinking to myself, oh God, I've got to record it now and this, that and the other. And as soon as I said, sod it, I'm just going to do it, not worry about it, I flew through it. So that is why there's not much of a time lapse as such. Um, as soon as I took that aspect out of it, it was a real joy to work on. So yeah, the link will be down in the description below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, embrace the love, guys. See you later. Bye.